The return of Hugh Jackman as Logan is confirmed. Years passed, but it seems that Jackman was never able to get over his desire to play Logan alongside Ryan Reynolds in a Deadpool movie. While everyone is thrilled, how will his return impact its legacy? Logan concludes with the titular character's death in a touching act of self-sacrifice. After centuries of being shielded by his healing factor, Logan is finally forced to confront his own mortality. The result is a much gloomier conclusion than one might have anticipated from a superhero film. In fact, Logan's conclusion is ideal not only because it capably wraps up Hugh Jackman's portrayal of the character, but also because it rightly concluded the best aspect of Fox's X-Men films and simultaneously demonstrated that intense and dramatic comic book stories can be successfully adapted for the big screen and receive critical acclaim. Additionally, Logan's story has more depth thanks to his ending, which is rich in symbolism. Despite officially saying goodbye to the role in 2015 and having the character heroically die in the 2017 film, Logan, Jackman has been persuaded to return as his beloved mutant character once more. Does anything in Logan now even matter? Yes, Logan still matters is the short answer. Fans of comic books shouldn't be surprised by any franchise's lack of continuity, and as followers of the Fox X-Men movies, it goes without saying. The entire series is disorganized and challenging, and it would be against the laws of physics to attempt to reconstruct the timeline. However, there are still many things to love about the show, particularly the way Logan concluded the first franchise arc by giving a beloved character one of the best send-offs ever. After Logan's final scene, many people will be left wondering what will happen to the hero in the end, his death scene is obviously explicit in that regard, and the burial suggests that it endures for at least a few hours. Fear. She needs our help. You are someone to come along. Someone has come along. However, given the character's healing capacity, it's theoretically possible for him to make a comeback. Logan's story demonstrates that, despite being largely diminished, his healing ability is still present. This is ultimately what allows Wolverine to pass away in Logan, but there are several inventive ways Jackman's character could come back to life. Hugh Jackman discussed how he received Logan director James Mangold's approval for his Wolverine Marvel Cinematic Universe debut in Deadpool 3, though it's still unclear how he will make a comeback. After portraying Wolverine in 10 films over 15 years, Jackman initially put the character's tenure to an end in 2017's Logan, the third and concluding entry in the character's solo trilogy and the second directed by Mangold, in which the X-Man passed away in the arms of his daughter, Laura. However, Wolverine will be joining Ryan Reynolds as Merc with a mouth in Deadpool 3 as the Merc with a mouth finally makes the move to the MCU. Hugh Jackman spoke openly in an interview about the planning for his upcoming Wolverine MCU debut in Deadpool 3. The Oscar nominee discussed his conversations with Logan director James Mangold and how he received his approval, describing how it wouldn't change the appropriate conclusion they gave the character in the Oscar-nominated 2017 film. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. The She-Hulk attorney at law credit sequence hinted at Wolverine's presence in the MCU and the character will return to the big screen in Deadpool 3, the first Deadpool movie to be set in the MCU. For the first time since X-Men Origins, Wolverine, Deadpool, and Wolverine will team up in this film. When Deadpool joins the MCU, the trilogy joins a series that has already established several ideas, chief among them the multiverse, the hypothesis that there are an infinite number of universes, each with an infinite number of possibilities, characters, and timelines. What's more, the MCU multiverse has proven that its characters can be portrayed by the same or different actors, depending on their age and stage of life. Whether he appears in the MCU, after Logan, or before, we don't know. We just know Hugh Jackman will portray him. The presence of Wolverine in Deadpool 3 doesn't call into question Logan's significance. For one thing, the MCU is still somewhere between 2023 and 2026, whereas Logan is set in 2029, as Reynolds and Jackman reminded viewers in their second promotional video. In other words, Wolverine is still alive if Logan really did take place on Earth-616. Reynolds and Jackman made it clear that their movie is not about Logan, which is a wise move because, once more, we don't want to waste those tears. We can assume with confidence that the chapter on Fox's Wolverine has been closed and that a different Wolverine will appear in the third Deadpool movie in light of Reynolds and Jackman's second promotional clip. Or the same character may be continued, perhaps Logan will be snatched from his timeline before dying, much like Loki did in Avengers Endgame. Deadpool 3 can continue the exploits of the alternate Logan, which would allow for the possibility of mutants showing up in Loki Season 2 or other Disney Plus programs like Ms. Marvel. It appears that Wolverine fans will experience the same multiple times mourning that MCU viewers are adapted to. 
Logan could die once more, and it would still matter, the same way Loki has passed away so many times in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and he breaks our hearts each time. Even though we've already seen Professor Charles Xavier die twice, who wasn't horrified by his death when he died on Earth-838 as a member of the Illuminati, by giving Wolverine a second chance at life, the multiverse is further expanded. We're aware that Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, is a mutant on the regular Earth-616 of the MCU, and fans adore her friendship with Wolverine in the comics. Who better to carry the torch than the MVP himself, Hugh Jackman, than this could signal the eagerly anticipated arrival of the X-Men in the MCU. However, none of that implies that Logan's impact or intensity will diminish. The movie has a lasting impact on superhero movies, and is still regarded as the perfect way to wrap up Wolverine's story. that Wolverine is no longer with us, and we're gonna get a new one who will be interacting with an even larger multiverse. Any Wolverine we encounter in Deadpool 3 will advance the character's narrative and make his final adventure in Logan even more memorable. Jackman's comeback along with Deadpool and Wolverine joining the MCU gives Wade vast joke canon for his brand of self-aware humor. Deadpool is also known for his fourth wall breaking meta humor, it would be huge if Jackman came out of retirement as Wolverine in any capacity. The fact that his Wolverine comeback will occur in Deadpool 3 only increases the amount of tension that Wade Wilson's joke can create. Reynolds' claim that he asked Jackman one more time about playing Wolverine does imply that Jackman's return will be a one-time event and not establish him as the MCU's official Wolverine. Even with that in mind, the addition of Ryan Reynolds' Merc with a mouth and Hugh Jackman's Wolverine in Deadpool 3 is a major triumph for both characters, their fans and the MCU. Hugh Jackman's final portrayal of Wolverine and Logan was rated R, and it's very simple to imagine Deadpool 3 receiving the same rating with plenty of Wade Wilson meta-commentary. Hugh Jackman's return, however, is the clearest sign yet that Disney and Marvel will follow through on their promises that Deadpool 3 will be rated R. There's much less reason to doubt Deadpool 3 getting an R rating since Logan is the most recent big screen Wolverine story viewers remember, which makes Wolverine's engagement that much more suitable. So smash that subscribe button and notification bell! so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Now that Jackman's Wolverine is confirmed to appear in Deadpool 3, the question of how the Marvel character can make a comeback following Logan's passing in the Oscar-nominated 2017 film arises. Given that Stewart's return was credited to Doctor Strange's multiverse antics in the Multiverse of Madness, it appears likely that this formula will also be used to bring Jackman back and help usher in Reynolds' as Deadpool into the MCU for his eagerly anticipated threequel. Deadpool 3 will premiere on September 6, 2024, so only time will tell. See you in the next video.